Amen. God bless you on today. Pastor Prince here with you. Welcome to yet another broadcast here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Temple of Refuge Ministries. We are so excited to be able to present to you the gospel according to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we will be coming from the book of Romans, the 12th chapter, beginning at verse 18 and concluding at verse 21. So Romans 12, 18 through 21, we are truly, truly um, thankful, um, inspired, empowered, invigorated, um, very powerful, uplifting meeting on yesterday, and we're just truly thanking God for, for all the participation, all the support, all the encouragement. Uh, made a brother's day, that's all I could say. Walking on cloud nine, I'm truly thankful for that. We'll be coming from Romans chapter 12, verses 18 through 21. That will be our text for today. And uh, I'll open up with our prayer to lead us into our word, amen, that we could hear what thus says the Lord for us on today. Most heavenly and gracious Father, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy, for your presence in our daily activities. We know that there is none like you, and for that we give you the glory, the praise, and the honor, both now and forever. We thank you for strength. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for encouragement. We thank you for peace. We thank you for an understanding in the midst of what appears to be chaos. But because of who you are, we have the consciousness to say, yes, Lord, in spite of, and that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Open up our ears to receive, our minds to receive, anoint these clay lips to speak life, truth, power and enlightenment to these, your people. Let no hurt, harm, or danger fall in our path. And in the event that it does, let nothing overtake us. Let nothing overwhelm us. Let nothing set us back from the mission at hand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the sweet Holy Spirit, we say thank you, Lord, and amen. Good morning, Sister Prince. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. If you'd be so kind and uh, bless us with our scripture for today, Romans chapter 12, verses 18 through 21. If it be possible, as much life in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Praise the Lord. And today is a term that you've heard before. And if anything about the gospel, it's going to be new news for some, old news for others, but good news for us all. And today's message is simply let go and let God. Amen. Easier said than done, but we're going to let go and let God. If I had a dime for every time someone angered me or tripped me up or tried to hold me back, I'd be really, really rich. I didn't say a dollar. I said a dime. But we have to understand that we got to let go and let God. God has given me a a version of how to deliver this morning's message. So, Sister Prince, I need you to stay open and alert 
and we're going to go and dissect this thing one verse at a time, starting with verse 18. Sister Prince, would you read simply just verse 18, please? If it be possible, as much life in you, live peaceable with all men. God understands you better than you understand yourself. Although this is Paul talking, Paul is talking through the anointing of the Holy Ghost, if it is at all possible, which means God knows that each and every one of us got a cutoff point. We're not like God. We're trying to be like God, but we're not like God. We have a cutoff point. We draw the line. We say enough is enough. I can't stand it no more. I'm going to have to tell you just how it is. But God said through part, if it is all possible, follow peace, not with some men, with most men, but with all men. Sometimes you got to hit reverse. Sometimes you just got to say, you know what, you you right, even though they did wrong, just for the sake of not even arguing. And let it go so you can move to the next journey. So what? Let go and let God. Hit reverse and say, you know what? I'm not. You, you show right. You show right. Have you ever had a discussion with someone who were arguing you down on what the person said and you spoke to the person directly and you know what the person said, but this person is getting some second, third, fourth hand, but they're going to argue you up and down that this is what was said when you spoke to the source itself? When you in direct line with God, you ain't got to argue with these folks. Titus 2 and 9, avoid foolish conversations. Don't get caught up in stuff that you know ain't got nothing to do with what they're talking about. If that's what you want to believe, I'm going to leave you in your make-believe land, and I'm going down the road. I'm going I'm to I'm follow this peace. I'm going to keep saying what thus says the Lord and keep it going. It's amazing how people will believe a lie before they accept the truth. And it's not for us to be combative and argue with folks when we know the truth is on our side, when we know we're standing on facts and not feelings, when we know that this is the direction that we are needed to be headed in. Now, it might not be the direction that you want to be headed in, but because I'm going to keep the peace and understand that God is leading the way through the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent, the ins, the outs, the ups and the downs, I'm going to hold my mute and keep my peace and say, yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart. To the depths of my soul, yes, Lord. That's our focus. That's our concern. Let go and let God. So it's the Prince, verse 19, please. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You ain't got to say nothing. I know it's hard. You ain't got to do nothing. I know it's hard. You don't have to put nothing in the data bank. I know it's hard. God sits high looks low, he knows what's going on, he knows who's right, he knows who's wrong, God knows who's pure and who needs some purification. Y'all don't hear me talking this morning. Y'all don't hear me talking this morning. Let go and let God, because it's guaranteed, guaranteed, the word is going to always surface back to the top. Touch not my anointed, 
nor cause my prophet no harm. You don't have to remind God of what they did to you. You don't have to remind God of what they said to you. You don't have to remind God of how they handled you. All you have to do is trust in the Lord. Let go and let God. I don't have to take no vengeance. I don't have to get a group together that we can come back and pick at you and fight against you. And even though that seems like the thing to do, the call to action to do, the call to action that we must do is remember that knee mail steals work. And all I'm saying is getting down and pray. Talking out to the Father. Calling on the name of Jesus is what's going to still be effective in such a time as this. I don't have to go tit for tat with you. I don't have to prove to you that I'm just as knowledgeable as you. I don't have to prove to you that I'm just as tough as you. I don't have to prove to you that, that I know people just like you know people. I might not know all the people, but I know the right person, <clears throat> and his name is Jesus. I wish I had one that understood what I was talking about. His name is the only name that will cause Satan to tremble. Y'all don't hear me. You better let go and let God. I know that people try to mess with your intellect. People try to act like you don't know up from down. And people try to talk at you instead of to you. And if you're not careful, you'll find yourself slinging right back at them. Ain't no need. Ain't no need. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Victory, victory shall be mine. I won't have to say nothing. When Jesus sat before Pilate and Pilate was breaking down who he was, and Jesus never opened his mouth, because obviously Pilate didn't know who Jesus was. Pilate even told, do you realize that I have the power to, to save you? Jesus, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have that kind of power. You might think you have that kind of power. But 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 I am the power. Y'all don't hear me talking. And when the power speaks on your behalf, guess what? Things got to move. Doors got to open. Windows have to rise. Why? Because the power has spoken. The anointing has risen. And when the anointing has risen and, and, and spoke its peace and spoke its direction and clarity, Things will happen. Things will move. Translation, let go and let God. Yeah, they're talking about you. Let go and let God. Yeah, they're plotting against you. Let go and let God. Yes, they're lying on you. Let go and let God. Because when the dust settles, as old MC Hammer used to say, can't touch this. <laughs> can't touch this. Why? Because I'm under the blood. And while I'm under the blood, nothing can harm me. While I'm under the blood, no enemy can snatch me. While I'm yet under the blood, God's will shall be done in all of our lives. The old song, see, that I, what I love about them old songs, they, they still hold power. They're not trendy. They're not fatty. They, you know, they, they, sometimes they're not even rhythmically, if I'm saying that properly. You know, they, 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 but, but, but it's just something about when I hear, I'm going to stay under the blood, I'm going to stay under the blood, I'm going to stay under the blood, and the world can do me no harm. Some about being under that blood. It's something about 
about letting go and let God, even though it's not looking favorable, but I'm going to stay under the blood where no evil can do me no harm. Sister Prince, if you don't mind, verse 20, please. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt heat coals of fire on his head. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, goodness will always prevail over evil. And where we have to get out of the mindset in the flesh I'm not going to treat anybody right that treats me wrong. You're cutting off your own blessing. Now, I'm not saying sit there and be someone's fool. But what I'm saying is you have to continue to walk in love. You have to continue to do what's Right. You can be upset with a person. You can be disappointed in the person. You don't have to get into an argument with them. You just keep on treating them with respect. You keep on handling them with love. You keep on dealing with them the way God say deal with them. That means you agree with what they're doing and how they're doing things. You're just trusting the process of God going to see you through from beginning to end. Translation, I'm going to let go of that God. I know you lied on me, but you know what? I'm going to let you make it. You know why? Because God let me make it when I lied before. God let me make it when I wasn't so favorable. God let me make it when I wasn't standing in position as I should be. So guess what? As God has extended to me, I'm going to extend to you. Doesn't mean that I'm lost in the dark. Don't mean I'm a sap. Don't mean I'm a sucker. I'm just trusting God. I'm letting go and let God. Because you may think you win it. And I tell Sister Prince all the time, can nobody make a fool out of you when you know they're trying to make a fool out of you? Now, if you choose to take the high road, doesn't mean that you're weak. Doesn't mean that you're not in tune to what's going on. I'm in tune enough to what's going on that I'm going to let you hang yourself. I'm going to let the anointing cover me. I'm going to let the anointing cover my spouse. I'm going to let the anointing cover my offspring. I'm going to let the anointing cover my sibling. I'm going to let the anointing cover everything that is connected to me. I'm going to let go and let God because it'll be all over in the morning. I know this has got to be one of the most challenging things in our daily walk. You mean to tell me that this person stole from me, this person lied on me, this person lied to me, this person scandalized my name, but you are trying to tell me that if they're hungry, feed them, that if they're thirsty, give them drink. The only thing I can keep hearing in my, in my mind is pray for me. Because that's what it's going to take. Because I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get there. And, and I know, I know it, it's real easy to cut somebody off. It's real easy to go on down the road. But guess what? I got to handle them the way the Lord has handled me. I'm going to feed you, and I'm not going to remind you of what you did to me because you already know what you did to me. I don't have to keep bringing that up. See, don't keep opening wounds. Yeah, you get battle scars, you get battle scars in life. That's part of the journey. But when you look at that battle scar, you shouldn't look at that battle scar and get hurt all over again. You just look at that battle scar as a lesson learned and let me move on down the road. Yeah, yeah, I got some battle scars from dealing with you. But guess what? I still serve a true and living God. I serve a God that is so loving. I serve a God that is so forgiven. And if I am supposed to be his child, I'm supposed to have some of his attributes, and I need to be able to walk therein under the same anointing as my father. 
to be like Jesus. That's what we say. Well, to be like Jesus, we got to learn how our long suffering is handled. We have to learn how to grow through some things. We have to learn how to let go and let God. Sister Prince, verse 21, if you don't mind. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet and tight, little bow. Read it one more time, Sister Prince. Read it one more time. With your educator's voice and dictation. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Don't worry about what other folks are doing. Don't worry about what other folks are saying. Don't worry how other folk are acting. Love the hell out of them. Let go and let God. If I have not learned anything in my time here on earth, I have learned that there is truth and vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I have learned that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I have learned that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Position yourself to be a blessing in season and out of season. Let go and let God. There are so many things that the enemy tries to distract us with that we'll lose focus of letting the main thing be the main thing get away from us. And the main thing is this, is that we made a vow to the Lord, and we can't turn back now. And our vow was to serve him in season and out of season. Our vow was to be obedient as well as sacrifice. Our vow was to be the best sons and daughters that we could be while here on earth. I am convinced in his word I am convinced in his promise. I am convinced that he wants what's best for all of us. And if that is the case, then we all collectively must let go and let God. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. If you look over your journey, your individual journey, you know that you shouldn't be where you are right now. And when I look over my journey, my individual journey, I know I shouldn't be where I am right now. And when I think on him and you think on him, we are walking and agreeing and touching together that if he'll do it for you, he'll do it for me. That if he's going to be a buckler for you, He's sure enough going to be a buckler for me. 
And we know that a buckler is a personal shield. It is a customized shield. Whatever you need protection from, God has it. Whatever you need, God has it. Scripture said it. Therefore, I believe it. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Y'all remember that song? Scripture said it. Scripture said it. Scripture said it. Scripture said it. Believe on me. Believe on me. Believe on me. Believe on me. And out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly, well shall flow, 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 rivers of living water, rivers, living water, rivers, living water, rivers, living water, let go and let God. Let your testimony be that you trusted him in spite of. Let your testimony be that you did what was right. Let your testimony be, as it stated in Romans 12 and 9, that you abhor that which was evil. Why? Because God has positioned himself for all of us to come out victorious. Do you believe that report? Will you receive that report? Will you walk therein that report? We're all dealing with something. We're all overcomers of something. We're all conquerors of something. Just remember this. You are not alone. Remember this. God cares about you. Remember this. God loves you and wants what's best for you. So what I need you to do, that energy, those efforts that you've been wrestling with, with a challenge in your life, whether it's a person, situation, circumstances, don't feed that negative energy. Don't feed that negative vibe. Let go and let God. Let God have his way. And if you let God have his way, things are going to break through. As soon as I stop worrying, worrying how the story ends, I let go and I let God, I let God have his way. When you let go and let God have his way, that's when things start happening. I let go and I let God. Let God have his way. I'm talking to you, brother. I'm talking to you, sister. Let go. Let God. Let go. And let God. I'm talking to myself. Let go. Let God. Let go and let God. Will you let go today and let God have his way? I want to pray with you. 
I know it's a challenging time for you right now. But we're going to stay under that blood. Yes. We're going to let go and let God have his way. We're going to let the anointing fill us and cover us that every step we make will be in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That whatever the enemy thought he had a grip on can no longer stay in his grasp because we're going to let go and let God. Glory be to God. I, I'm speaking to health. I'm speaking to mental wellness. I'm speaking to spousal challenges. I'm speaking to, to relationship challenges. I'm, I'm speaking to job struggles. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to everything that the enemy is trying to bind you and weigh you down with. I'm, I'm speaking to that right now. Let go and let God. Let us Pray under the anointing. If you really believe God is going to move on your behalf, I need you to surrender right where you are right now. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands right now, and just say, I surrender to you right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we stretch out to you, asking you to come on in and move whatever the enemy is trying to bog us down with right now. We plead the blood of Jesus that you'll come and break and destroy every fetter that is trying to keep us shackled and bound. We plead the blood of Jesus from head to toe on every circumstances that are trying to brew up right now, every financial challenge that's trying to brew up right now, every health challenge that's trying to brew up right now. We plead the blood of of Jesus. We're going to let go. We're not going to stay up all night when you promise you never slumber nor sleep. We're going to get our rest and let you have the right of way. We're going to let go and let God from sun up to sundown lead our every step of the way. The anointing that is flowing right now, let it flow to every ear that hears my voice. Let it flow to every mind that is come confused and converted right now over to you, God. Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We shout out glory to your most high name. We shout out hallelujah to your son, Jesus. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor both now and forever, O oh God. We say thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. I feel good, saints. I feel rejuvenated. I feel inspired. 
I feel I can go on a little bit further. Hallelujah. I'm in a singing mood right now. <laughs> I'm in a singing mood. I'm not going to wear y'all out, though. I'm not going to wear y'all out. What I feel like, I feel like, I feel like going on. Glory to God. I feel like going on. Though trials come, won't every hand. I feel like going on. Anybody feel like that? Oh, my God. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. The trials come. Won't every hand I feel like going on. Woo! Glory to God. My goodness to gracious. I am truly thankful to God for all that he is doing right now for what he's going to do in the future because he's just that good. He is just that good. Let me share these notes and uh, uh, announcements with you all. Don't forget Tuesdays and Thursdays, the anointed one herself, Sister Jacqueline Sadbury. Noon on Tuesdays with the tea time women's Bible study that I confess that I still listen to. Hallelujah. <laughs> and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. You can join live by dialing 857 or you can catch it on the YouTube channel, rebroadcast, and through the website, Temple section, rebroadcast. Just click on Temple of Refuge Ministries. Either way will be suffice. I'm excited. I'm excited. I um, want to remind you, fourth Saturdays of the month, 9 a.m. Next one will be March 25th, 2023, Lord's Insane. We'll have our Zoom meeting. And I've already uh, got some things um, in line and in vision from our meeting on yesterday. Sister Peter, be ready. Um, I'm just excited for those uh, supporting the ministry near and abroad. Visit the website, obnradio.com. Go to the donation section for the temple and for the radio section. And... Uh, Send your support that way. For those who do the cash app option, it is dollar sign OBN radio. And we greatly appreciate it. And for those who do the snail mail, P.O. Box 891, Prairie View, Texas, 77446. I love you. And there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. So don't you dare try. I am Pastor Prince of the Temple of Refuge Ministries, located in the beautiful city limits of Prairie View, Texas. And might I add, through the radio waves and the internet waves, worldwide ministry. That's got a nice little ring to it. I am going to say farewell for right now. But until the next time, you all be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.